welcome to this quick video that I'm doing about uh, my K11 Micro Auxiliary Drive Belts. A fascinating topic, but one which can cause confusion uh, when you come to buy one of the belts yourself. Now, there's a few different variations of belts that you can have, but the belts uh, that, you, that are available, you have typically sort of four to choose from. Now, for no particular reason, I'm using the Euro Car Parts website, as it does give uh, a nice, easy access display to the types of belts that you need. So, let's deal with uh, one sort of, or a couple of scenarios, rather. So, scenario one, you have a base level micro that has no power steering or uh, air conditioning. You'll need, in that case, you'll need two belts. In fact, in all cases, you'll need two belts. Um, but in that case you'll need a belt for the water pump and another belt for the um, alternator. Now if you've got one of the many special edition micros out there you need to determine what you have as regards air conditioning or power steering or both. So let's have a look at this image here which is a typical pre-coil pack engine bay. Post-coil pack models are similar although you will not have the distributor unit and on here you will have individual coil packs per cylinder. If you have air conditioning you'll typically see these two pipes at the front of the engine bay here, that one going back to the evaporator unit, and you'll have an alternator mounted at the top of the engine bay. The air conditioning compressor is mounted underneath the alternator on models without air conditioning you'll just have the alternator and it will be mounted lower down in the engine bay. Um, I think also you may not have this bracket arrangement here. Um, on models which have power steering you'll have this pipe at the back here which has got a pressure sensor in it and you'll also have this reservoir here. If you do not have power steering you will not have this reservoir or this pipe here. If you have air conditioning but no power steering, you will have the air conditioning pipe work, the condenser at the front of the engine bay, not shown in this picture, the high mount alternator, and obviously this pipe work going back to the evaporator, but you will not have the pipe work and reservoir for the power steering. So, let's take a look at a typical situation. Say you've got a 1 litre S model, uh, which is a coil pack trim level um, and also a 1 litre SE in my case. So in both cases you're going to have power steering or you certainly should have power steering and in the case of the SE you will have air conditioning which means that you'll need the belt to suit the alternator and the air conditioning compressor. So let's have a look at the actual belts themselves. Now thankfully each of these gives us fitment details so we know uh, what they should actually be fitting. Always remember that you will have two belts uh, in every case, I believe, and um, you will need to choose from one of these belts, one of these four belts, to suit your particular model. So in my case, because I have power assisted steering and air conditioning, I need these two belts here, because that one suits the alternator and air conditioning and the water pump and power steering. If I have a lower spec model that doesn't have air conditioning but does have power steering, I will need this belt which suits the alternator and this belt which suits the water pump and power assisted steering pump. If I have one of the unusual models that doesn't have power steering but does have air conditioning, I'll need the water pump belt and I'll need the belt that suits alternator and air conditioning. If I've got the base model, with no power assisted steering and no um, air conditioning. You just need this belt for the water pump and this belt for the alternator which makes life nice and simple. Now most people uh, will have power steering but no air conditioning. So you'll be choosing from this Contitec drive belt in this case here which is suitable for the water pump and power assisted steering pump and this belt here which is suitable if you have the alternator. Now hopefully this has proven to be useful. Um, it is a bit of a minefield when you are choosing belts and it is quite easy to go wrong but hopefully this simple guide will 
help you choose the correct belt depending on uh, the model of vehicle that you have. So a few points to remember. Do you have air conditioning and power steering? Do you have power steering and no air conditioning? Or do you have neither of those items? If you have neither, the belt choice is quite easy. You just need one for the water pump, one for the alternator. If you have power steering but no air conditioning, you need a belt that's suitable for a water pump and power steering pump, and one suitable for the alternator. And obviously if you've got air conditioning, you need one that's suitable for alternator and air conditioning, and also one that's suitable for the water pump and power steering. Unless, as you say, you've got one of those bizarre special editions that doesn't have power steering, in which case you'll be choosing a belt suitable for the water pump. So, a little bit of a minefield, but hopefully this clarifies exactly what you require. If you've found this video useful, don't forget to hit that like button, and also consider subscribing for more upcoming fascinating hobbies. Thank you very much for watching.